So we're about to look at the engine oil pressure on this 77 911S with a 76 engine in it. First thing I'm going to do is check my specs. So oil pressure is to be measured at 80 degrees C in kilopascal per centimeter squared, which equals bar, one bar. At 5,000 RPM should be five bar. Cold start on the oil pressure gauge. Lights on. Engine RPM at 2,000. Oil pressure as indicated approximately 60 pounds. Warm up now? Nope, I'm gonna go put my oil pressure gauge on. This is actual oil pressure at idle, we're almost 60, revving to 2000. Okay, let's let it warm up. So, as we can tell, right now the gauge is pegged because I have it unplugged. Oh. But we have a 30 PSI difference between the gauge and actual engine cold when we perform the same test. 25 degrees C. Current oil pressure at 38 degrees C at 865 RPM is 30 PSI or approximately two bar. Okay, 66 degrees idling at approximately 25 psi and So we ran the test at 70 degrees because of our temperature here. The car is just not heating up over 70 and we are just not willing to, to drive it. So at 70 degrees C at 5,000 RPMs, we were seeing 70 PSI. Uh, my gauge isn't accurate enough to be able to split PSIs. Five bar converts to 72 and a half. Uh, PSI, so I would say that we are right on the money. And this is actually measuring it at the same spot that the pressure sensor for the gauge sees, but it is not actually the best. The best place to measure actual oil pressure is at the back of the motor where the oil uh, safety switch, often called the idiot light, is installed. And the idiot light is really the safest bet to go. It's set normally at 0.8 of a bar, so that means oil pressure is going to be somewhere around 10 psi or lower for it to turn on. At idle hot, we were seeing a very consistent 25 psi, which is very normal for these cars. So I'm going to screw the original pressure sensor back in and we'll see what the gauge is reading next. I'm just putting a new ceiling washer on. Since ceiling washers are only good for one use. And it's hot. Yeah. My fingers are burning. Plug our, our wires plug back in. And let's go see what our gauge in the car does. Okay, so this is why we never trust an oil pressure gauge in the car. Um, and it can be for a lot of reasons. You can see our engine temp on the left is approximately 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And
and our oil pressure says zero, yet we know it is running at approximately 25 psi. When I rev the engine, we see an instant move on the gauge. So we're going to run it up to 5,000, and we see our gauge is fluttering around. Whoop. Gauge is taking a shoot. on the upper RPM limit um, to what we are seeing on our physical gauge but down at the lower limit it is pretty much reading zero which we know not to be true. Now the reason for this is can be a lot of things. There's a new pressure sender in the car. Pressure senders are somewhat reliable but what we have is all of the wiring and connections from the engine all the way back to the gauge. We have wires that are 43, 44 years old that have a certain level of corrosion in them. All of those factors will <laughs> influence the, uh, the gauge reading and how accurate it is. Uh, what was always told from me from day one at the dealer, as long as you when you step on the gas, you see that gauge move, life is good. As long as the safety warning light does not come on, life is good. So uh, there we have it, oil pressure and our gauge relationship, um, not always the same.